If you're just watching these videos for the first time, you're probably not going to be at this stage. But if you're not at the stage I'm about to explain, then make sure that you eventually go through these steps and come to the understanding of which market you're going to enter. Which niche? That is the question. So after you've gone through all these steps in this course, target market tactics, you should be able to make a final decision. Now when I say a final decision, it's just a final decision about whether or not you're going to enter a niche. If you determine that there's 10 different niches you want to enter, you can do whatever you want. You can enter all 10 at once. I wouldn't suggest that. That's actually a lot harder to do. I would say pick the best one, enter that niche, and yeah, later, after you've entered that niche successfully, you can either choose to expand in that niche or you can enter an entirely different niche. So the choice is really yours. Uh, I have literally hundreds of ideas that one day I plan on doing. I'm just not sure which order I'm going to do all my ideas in. So I try to focus on one thing at a time and then I save my other ideas for later because over time my ideas also improve, they also become cultivated and they also take on new shapes and forms as I continue to learn more. So some ideas that are back burner ideas become better ideas as time goes on because I learn more. So with everything you've learned in this course, you need to make a final decision about if this niche is something you are excited enough about to develop a business around. So what that means is, is it worth it? Is this a good niche that you want to take a chance and enter and try to make money online with? Is it something that you think would be a good thing to do? If it's not, go find another niche. If you have multiple ideas, I would just say pick the best one based on all your research. If this niche is for you, your next step is to proceed to creating a website and a product. Now, the website usually comes before the product no matter what you do, but sometimes you need to create the product and then the website kind of simultaneously if you're going to make your own product. You can also just create a website around an affiliate program. So if you find a market that's really good and you notice, hey, there's an affiliate program that you could join and you feel that you could um, make some nice money in that market as an affiliate just as a way to break in, build an email list, and then you could eventually develop your own product, then you can go ahead and do that. Or you can just get to work on creating your own website and your own product. Important thing is you want to imitate other people in the market but don't copy make your product unique you don't want to plagiarize people because that makes people mad and if your product is unique then you have a nice unique selling proposition and people have to come to you to get your USP that's why you want a USP and plus this stuff is so easy to create your own unique stuff why rip anybody off why get the bad karma of doing something wrong when you could spend the same amount of effort creating your own unique thing. And actually, it's harder to rip people off sometimes than it is to create your own thing. And then you also have guilt and you're worried about getting arrested and you got people sending you nasty emails and calling you on the phone. You don't want to deal with ripping people off. And I've been ripped off and I don't like it. So, you know, I don't do anything out there that rips people off, but, you know, I get inspired by people and I use what they've done to give me creative ideas and then I just take it and do it my own way. And I try to develop products that enhance other people's products so that they'll want to promote me. So you should take that same attitude. What's the next step? Next, you want to go to the website creation toolbox. And let me take you there. And in this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about creating your own website. You're going to learn the techniques to make your website so that you can do all the stuff you see online. Um, you're going to have to practice at this so that you get to know this stuff. But I'm giving you all the stuff that took me literally months and months and months and some things even years to figure out. And I'm going to show you some of these things in about three or four minutes. That took me six months to figure out. So... This is a great video, the Website Creation Toolbox, and it's the next video in the series. So please go watch that now or whenever you're ready. Um, you can also wait till you create a niche market first and decide which market you're going into. Once you decide that, you work on building your website. All these things can be done simultaneously. They can all be done holographically. 
you need to be exposed to a lot of this stuff first and then you need to use all these tools together so when you find a niche all those tools you use them together and then you use all the website creation tools in combination with that to create your business so if you just want a complete introduction to internet marketing read perpetual profits you just completed the niche marketing course and now you're going through the website creation toolbox once you complete those three courses you have a firm foundation in internet marketing and then you can continue with this website and you can continue to learn so i'll see you over at the website creation toolbox and i look forward to showing you some very cool things over there